John with Face Down here, and we are with one of the members of the band Four Years Strong. I actually had the privilege of meeting these guys last year, and uh, got a kick-ass interview for uh, my friends over at Sling and Ink magazine. Now we're doing the interview for uh, something else, as Liam from the Cancer Bat said, this is part two. Uh, and you are my friend? I'm Alan, and I play Four Years Strong. And what do you do in the band? I sing and play guitar. Excellent. Now, did you guys expect your album, Enemy of the World, and the single on the album must really suck to be four years strong right now to gain such popularity like it has? Uh, no, I mean, we never expect anything out of what we do, really. We just do the best that we can and have the most fun that we can have and hope that kids like it as much as we do. And, and luckily, it's worked out. <laughs> Now, how, how, how exciting is it to be touring with the band Rise Against and Bad Religion, and uh, you guys uh, either played or, or, or are playing with Blink-182? Uh, yeah, um, I mean, I'm super, super excited about this tour, playing with Rise Against and Bad Religion. It's been awesome already. It's been like just, just over, just under a week, and every show has been amazing. Um, we've been playing to a lot of new fans. And everyone in the bands and the crews are really, really nice and helpful and take care of us as, an, as the open band. Now, April of uh, this year, it was announced that Josh was leaving the band and to focus on the side project. And then it was announced that you guys are doing away with the synthesizers and just keeping it as a four-piece. Uh, what's the real story behind that? And why did you guys decide to do away with the synthesizers? And now you're still on good terms with Josh? Uh, well, yes, we are still on good terms with Josh. Um, we haven't spoken much since uh, him leaving, um, but that's just because, I mean, I've been barely talking to my parents then either. I mean, it's just the nature of touring and, and the lack of communication between friends and stuff. But, uh, you know, it was, it was just the kind of thing where both of us kind of saw it coming for a little while. Maybe not you know, on the surface, but we both knew something was weird for a while, because we, we, in, in complete honesty, we never took uh, that in the keyboards very seriously in the band. Like, we just, we loved Josh, and we loved having him in the band, he loved being in the band, but he, but it just musically and wasn't working as it was. Um, Personality-wise, like, we hit it up great. There was nothing wrong with that. And you, I mean, really the most important thing is, is the music and all of this because if the music wasn't there, then we wouldn't have a band. We wouldn't be friends with Josh. We wouldn't be Four Years Strong. But we've been trying to really solidify our sound like with every record. We, we, we concentrate on songwriting and every move we make. For this record, it just didn't seem like we were in the same place as we were on the last two records, or, or for the rest of the band's career, really. Um, we took more risks and doing things, and, you know, it was just the next chapter. Now, you guys just did an interview uh, April 13th with Alternative Press, and you really, you guys uh, revealed a new album that's in the works. Mm -hmm. Can you give your fans some insight on what to expect on that? Expect? Expect? Something awesome. I mean, that's what we always try to do. It's different, for sure. It's um, it's not Enemy of the World. It's not Rise of Trying. It's not a carbon copy of any song or record that we've made. It's something new. It's something that we try to do every time we write a song. It's do something that we haven't done before. Do something interesting. Do something catchy, exciting. Something someone can sing along to, bob their head to. That's what we've done from the beginning. That's what we're doing now in a little bit different of a way, which I think is a good thing, you know? We would get bored, and the fans would get bored if we were making the same record every time, you know? So. Now, being in the band since 2001, and pretty much having your original lineup besides the departure of Josh and all that, how hard has it been keeping your original lineup for all, all these years? It hasn't really been hard. It technically isn't completely original. Um, because the band started when I was a freshman in high school. Um, so there were a few members, but since we started taking the band and our career very seriously, it has been a solid lineup with the four of us, me, Dan, Joe, and Jake. And uh, honestly, it hasn't really been hard at all, keeping it together. We always musically 
just work well together. We never really thought about it being another way. And personality wise, we all get along. We've known each other forever. Especially me and Jake, our drummer, we've known each other since like third grade. Oh, wow. We've been in bands together since. Um, I've actually never been in a band without him. Been in other bands before this. Never without him. And then, yeah, it's, it's, it's not hard keeping the band together. I mean, I know that's kind of contradicting Josh not being in the band anymore, but that was, that was a, a musical difference kind of thing, not, not like a challenge in keeping it together. Right, so. gotcha. Now, is there any fun facts that you would like to share with us and your fans that no one else would know about Four Years Strong? I don't know. There's not really that many fun facts. We're kind of boring people. We just really like playing music. You guys do it very well. Oh, thank that. you. <laughs> um, now, your music has been described as so many different genres. Um, how would you guys? How would you label your music? I mean, you're right. People put all types of names on it, but to me, it's just rock music. You know, not not in like a cheesy sense, like ah, rock and roll, but like. We're a rock band. That's what we want to do. That's, I mean, we listened to rock bands when we were growing up, and we found this little nook of rock that we found called pop punk. That was, and everyone was doing it at the time, and we we created our own version of it. But that all comes from rock and roll, you know. So that's that's what I'd call it. Now, the direction that, that you guys are going is pretty much you guys are being labeled as the next day to remember uh, because of your album is just very catchy, very popular, and you guys are, you know, it, it's, it's, you know are getting up there very, very quickly just like they are. Um, how, do you, how do you feel about people saying that? Well, uh, personally, I don't want to be the next to anybody, you know? I just want to be me. I want to be us. And I want to do that our way, and I think we have been since day one. And, and if we continue to get more popular, thank, thank God, that would be fantastic. And if we don't, we're gonna still, we're gonna still make music, you know, because that's what we do, that's what we like doing, that's what we'll do forever. But like I said, we don't want to be the next to anybody. We want to be for you strong. Exactly. Um, and uh, what do you guys like to do for fun when you're not touring or you know playing music? <laughs> well, usually what I do for fun when I'm not touring is play music. And usually what I do for fun when I'm not playing music is go on tour. <laughs> but, uh, me, man, what do I do? I like going to the movies. I really enjoy going to the movies. I like, I don't know, I pretty much play guitar in all my spare time. So. <laughs> Now, who came up with the idea behind your videos? It must really suck to be four years strong right now, and tonight we feel alive on a Saturday. Um, uh, the It Must Really Suck one, we actually made two videos for that. Uh, one that was, um, it was like the, all of it was all one shot, a, a bunch of kids following the camera all dressed up weird. That was that was the director who did that. That was his treatment that he gave us, and we thought it would be cool. It took us one day. We did it in London, and it was just it was a lot of fun. And we did another video for that song, actually, that was just a live video of a show in London. And that was really cool, too, because it had shots of like, some of our friends and fireworks and stuff like that, so that was cool. And then uh, the uh, Tonight We Feel Alive video was actually... That idea came from Josh, like... Uh, our old keyboard player. He came up with the basic idea, and then we all talked about it. And he put together a treatment, and then the director, you know, fixed it and made it actually realistic. And, yeah. and last but not least, what's in store for Four Years Strong? We already know about your new album. Any other tours, videos? What can your fans expect in the future from you guys? Oh, well, expect a new record because we're working on that. We've been working on that for a while, and we still got a lot of work to do on it. Um, I don't know when to expect it. So I guess with that, expect some new videos, some new everything. Can you give details on the title of the album? No title yet. Sorry. I wish I knew. But um, there's barely even titles for songs yet. <laughs> nice. But we, we have a lot of songs to write. And we're super, super excited about all of them.
Well, I definitely take you, thank you for taking the second time out of the year to no interview thank with you. us. If you guys have not checked out Four Years Strong, uh, definitely do it. These guys are fucking amazing. And uh, I think I actually have one of your fans right here. I think your youngest fan. All right. What do you want to ask him, baby? She had a question for you. What's your question? <laughs> ask him. I'm your fan. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> of course you can have my autograph. <laughs> There you go. There you go, buddy. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Face down is out. <laughs>